One of, the, one of the important features of our system is the fact that we partnered with Roca, Roca Sanitario to develop an ultra low flush squat plate. So let, let, me, let me show you the system. We, we, we challenged them to develop a, a plate that did not change the way the user perceived the toilet, but still operates on less than two liters of water. This particular system will operate on 1.5 liters of water. It still maintains a water trap, so it still has a standard S trap, but the fluid dynamic design allows it to effectively flush the liquid. And let me just do a test. So that was 1.5 liters. The linear actuation, the foot pedal, it does two things. It obviously it flushes the toilet, but it also indexes the auger up. So it moves the dry feces up through the drying auger and then into the combustion system, which I can show you next. So inside the system, The solid waste drying just consists of a linear screw auger. So in the back, the separation, the solid liquid separation, all of that happens after the user flushes. A mechanical screw rotates and pushes the solid waste up where it, where it mixes with warm air and that, dry, that slowly dries the feces. And then the feces, by the time it reaches this point, reach, is in smaller pellets which falls into the stove. This is a downdraft combustor. It's designed to efficiently turn fecal matter, dry fecal matter, into thermal energy and combust it in a way that minimizes emissions. We did not want to trade one harmful agent for another, so we've, we've developed this based on our biomass cook stove technology. The exhaust from here, the exhaust from the combustor is then manifolded back to the auger where it dries the feces that's coming up and then we use these thermoelectric modules to turn the thermal energy into electrical energy. So what would you say one defecation is an equivalent of uh, kilowatt minutes or hours? We generate, so with 10 users we will generate about 250 kilojoules of energy. Let me, before you publish that, let me get back to that. Let, let, let me actually confirm that number. We, we, we break, the energy is, exists in two forms. We have the, the thermal energy, which about 80% of that's used to dry the fe fecal matter. And then the rest of it, we convert into electrical energy, but the conversion efficiency is about 5%. So when we talk about energy, we always think of it in terms of the thermal side and then the electrical part that we can capture. So this is urine and feces? Yes, so feces is the only part that's coming up here. The urine, because of the screw auger, the urine flows back into a separation tank that is then, then we take the salts from the urine, we convert that electrochemically into oxidants, and then that also breaks down the organics. That goes into another settling tank where we recycle that water up for flush. And so the, elect the electrical energy that we, that we harvest thermoelectrically and store in a battery, that electrical energy is used to drive the electrochemical process. Yes, so let me show you. So the solid liquid separation happens right at this point. As the auger rotates, the solid waste goes up and the liquid waste goes down into this first settling tank. The settling tank is just designed after a simple septic tank. It has a separation stage here where we have any solids or particles that may come down through the liquid system will settle here. Clarified here, the overflow goes into the treatment module. 
In the treatment module, the liquid is cycled through an electrochemical cell. It's just two electrodes, and that's what converts the salts in the urine into oxidants. This is what disinfects the liquid, but it also breaks down the organics. After treatment here, it flows over into the holding tank where it can be recycled up into the cistern for continued flush. And that's it. The system is designed to be as simple as possible. Then in the next phase, our goal is to get all of this down into a single chamber, a single container so that it's modular but with different sections in it so that's easier to mass fabricate. And the same thing with the auger system. In terms of waste products, it's not a very really significant thing? Only two waste products. As, as, as I said, you recycle the liquid for flush, but you will, after a certain number of users, well, you will have some excess. And the other waste product is just ash from the combustor. So you end up in about one week, maybe a volume size of a brick, one week, 10 users. And that has to be emptied by hand about once a week. Thank you very much. Good.